Born and raised in Santiago, Cuba. But I'm from is right here. 66-year-old Jose Nieto remembers the days he spent in his hometown I don't ambition power. under Fidel Castro's rule. And I remembered also that at that early age, I was uh, disagreed with the government. You know, I, I think I don't have any happiness in my, in my young age. And I finally uh, came to the United States when I was uh, 22 years old. Years later, when he was 22, Jose escaped communist Cuba. I got the opportunity to swim the Bay of Guantanamo and, and ask for asylum, political asylum, in, in, in Guantanamo base. That, that's the, uh, the how I get out of Cuba. Now, more than four decades since he fled Cuba, Jose says the news of Castro's death was welcomed in Cuban communities everywhere including his family-owned restaurant, Truro's Cafe in Metairie. They're not celebrating the human being dead. They're celebrating the finish of the dictator. So many brutal things that he did, you know, so many people suffered, so many people, they, they don't have no family, they, they, they divide the family. He did so many bad things, that, that's why he did celebrating this, you know. This guy was, a, was an animal, you know. They, they, they had the, the Cuban people like a slave for 55 years. You can be lack of so many material things, but the worst a people can be private is uh, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of doing whatever you want to do. Jose says while Cubans across the world may be celebrating the end of Fidel Castro's regime, he's fearful that the worst is yet to come. But what's going to happen now, it's going to be more persecution, more people in jail, more abusing, everything. It's, that's, what, that's, that's the next step because uh, the dictator is dead, but the government is still alive and is still power in, in Cuba.